Hey everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have learned how to create our WebRTC client and how to create our local sources like camera and audio tracks. So in this video we are going to start actually writing codes about uh, negotiating to start the connection between two peers. So to do that let me uh, clarify our code first. So this is uh, installing requirements section like creating peer connection initializing our clients and here we will have streaming section and right here I'll create another section called negotiation section so in this section we will have a function named call and we will get a target using string and using our peer connection we will create an offer like this and as the observer I'll create an object of my observer class my SCP observer class and we, we will override the uncreate success method and we will rename it to description and same as here let's go back to our my SCP observer and rename it to disk so after creating our session description first we want to set it as our local description to that using peer connection again and set local description we will use an object as scp i'll pass my scp observer and i'll overwrite on set success method here and for the description we will pass the disk and right here after setting uh, this created session description inside our peer connection now it's time to transfer it to the other peer so to do that using listener transfer data we will create a data model the type is going to be data model type dot offer sender is going to be username target is target and data is going to be description dot description and here to create a STP we are going to need some media constraints so I'll initialize it globally inside my WebRTC variables I'll call it private val media constraints it's equal to media constraints and apply some mandatory tweets add media constraints dot key value pair and add some property to it offer to receive video set it to true and offer to receive audio and set it to true and in this way we will tell that peer connection hey we wanna create a video call so set our session description as the video call mode so we'll pass it here so our call function is ready to go and the other one is answer function we will get the target as well everything is same as the call but with small different that we have to create answer here and my stp observer i'm gonna use the constructor we will use the uncreate success method and after creating this session description using media constraints we will set it inside our peer connection and then as the observer i'll just create another scp observer like this and overwrite on set success so if this session description is set to my peer connection it's time to send it back to the first peer that started to call and sent us their SCP. So to do that, using listener and on transfer function, I'll create a data model and the type is going to be data model type answer. Sender is going to be username. Target is going to be target and data is going to be description dot description and right now 
uh, we want to create a function that whenever a remote session is received we want to set it inside our peer connection so to do that I'll create on remote session received and get the session description as the input and using peer connection sets remote description you can see we're going to need observer so I don't want to observe anything so I'll just pass my observer and the session description itself and to handle the ice candidates I'm gonna write a function at ice candidates to peer which is going to get ice candidate of type ice candidate using peer connection add ice candidates and add it to it and create another function send ice candidates and we will get a target of type string and ice candidate of type ice candidate this function is used when our peer connection is creating ice candidate so first we want to add the ice candidate to our peer connection ice candidates and then send it using listener to the other peer so we'll create a data model of type data model type ice candidates the sender is going to be username target is target and the data is going to be json to json the candidate and we need some helper functions like close connection which we will try to release the video capture release the local stream and close our peer connection just like that and another function called switch camera using video capture that switch camera and pass null to it and toggle audio uh, and we should know if should be muted of type boolean we check if should be muted is true it means it has to get muted so our local stream will remove the track we call audio track call audio track otherwise we want to add it back to our local stream so add track local audio track and in case of toggle video and should be muted we check again but first let's wrap it inside let's try catch block again and here we check if it should be muted so we have to remove it stop capturing camera else start capturing camera and pass the local surface view to it okay that's it for this video in the next video we will learn how to implement our webrtc client inside our main repository and start using it till the next video see you everyone